The summer of 2021 was filled with milestones for Eloise Caggiano, a surprise vacation out west, the celebration of one of those big birthdays, and a milestone she's calling her sweet 16, one she wasn't sure she'd ever get to see. 16 years is a long time, yet in some ways my breast cancer experience doesn't seem so far in the past. That email is one that her closest friends are thrilled to get in their inboxes. It means she's once again survived the diagnosis that started with the discovery of a lump in her breast at the age of 33. And then I finally got the lump taken out and they're like, you know, we thought it was nothing, but you have breast cancer. So that was a little shocking because I, I felt pretty confident that I was doing okay. I also remember being on the operating table uh, the day of my mastectomy and I just remember starting to cry. And I, like, even now I get a little, a little choked up. The usually private Long Island native leaned on support from friends, co-workers, and the oncologist, she says, gave her a crash course in cancer 101. I heard I shouldn't eat this or I shouldn't drink that. She's like, live your life. Live your life. Don't go crazy. Live your life. Enjoy yourself. She's somebody that's very easy to like and very easy to take care of. Um, she did all she was told to do. She's a very responsible patient. Now a breast cancer survivor, Eloise shows her gratitude by sending annual emails, marking what she calls her cancer anniversary. And although it may only come once a year, this email ensures that I stay connected to those I know and love. The list of digital recipients continues to grow. She sent me the letter, and I guess I, you know, I just said, what a beautiful letter. And the gratitude continues to grow, too. A couple of times I said to some of my friends, I'm like, I kind of think I should stop. Like, you guys are probably tired of getting these emails from me, like gushing. Oh, thank you so much for being so great. They're like, do not stop. We love these emails. I send my love and good wishes to all of you for wonderful, you wonderful, special people. Tracy Strahan, News 4, New York.